that leg behind you, Ella, underneath. Attitude. And knee up, knee up, knee up. You. And now knee, knee, knee roll. I have a lot to work on with my dancing. I think my weaknesses, I don't have as much technique as the other girls. I am not, you know, your strong dancer that can like get through a variation, no problem. I think I'm more of like the lyrical, artistic dancer. Okay, Ella, you're gonna look away. Now do your rond de jambe all the way around. So you're gonna do passe, so you're gonna do it to me. Don't look at yourself in the mirror. I'm your audience, I'm your fan, to me, to me. To me, better stretch that back leg, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. There you go. Sometimes I beat up on myself because I'm like, this looks bad, my feet could be prettier, or this line looks bad. But when I take a step back from it, I realize every day when I show up, I'm painting a new picture, I'm starting a new clean page. It's an art form just like anything else. You start blank and then you work up. You have to figure out from here the strength that you need to go this way. It's the same strength as this. It's just a little bit more. There you go. I want to change what people think and be like, look, I can do this. I can look strong on stage. And I just want to show that to everyone. Today is Monday, March 2nd. I'm excited for this week to start and excited to continue my Western Symphony rehearsals and get ready for open bar. But I still have to go to Beach High and I have to go to class. <laughs> I came here my freshman year of high school and I've been going to Miami Beach Senior High. I'm there for maybe an hour and a half a day. I'm so involved with ballet, so I don't run into that many people. Everyone there is really supportive that I do ballet. They all think it's cool, and especially when I say that I live alone at South Beach, they're like, you do, you do what? You live by yourself? So it's definitely different than your average high school student. What point is where you were in before? Neptunes, like free Neptunes. Oh, nice. Margarita and I both attend Miami Beach Senior High. Margarita and I had this, you know, connection, and we wanted to be in Miami City Ballet, and of being a pre-professional one, and doing the full day of classes at an academic school in ballet. When did you start going to Beach High again? Um, I remember you texting me, you were like, what is Beach High like? Yeah. And I was like, well, I've been there for four years. Um, I hope when I graduate from high school, I hope that I could get an apprenticeship once you get into the pre-professional levels. What I've really learned is that you're gonna have to sacrifice stuff like sacrifice being with your friends, sacrifice having fun. Ella, for your project, you're gonna actually come up and talk about your project. We're going to be pitching your project idea. All right, everybody, no, let's like pay attention this. to Ella. What? Ella's actually a ballerina. I don't know if you guys know this, but we're actually gonna create an interactive experience where Ella's gonna be talking through her life story as a ballerina. Because Question. Yeah. What do you mean by interactive experience? When I'm dancing, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be portraying different emotions, like when I'm nervous for a performance, or if I'm like having a hard day at ballet, I'll like look tired in the film or something. I'm interested in film. I grew up even in elementary schools making films. So if I did stop ballet, I would probably be interested in working with that. I want to have it open up to some establishing shots. Mm -hmm. Maybe something with the mirror, but the camera won't be in the mirror. Do they have mirrors in, the, in here? Yes, they okay. do. They all have mirrors. When my friends at school ask me, you know, what college are you going to? I'm like, oh, I don't care. I mean, I do care, but it's like, I just want to, I just want to dance. But then I realize that, you know, it's important to have a plan B. Oh, if I did stop ballet. We are going to look at all of our options in Florida, mm -hmm. our plan B. So here I want you to put the top schools that you want to go to, okay. so which are your reach? Um, it depends on, you know, whether I do get into a ballet company or not. So I may end up doing, you know, online college. There's also FIU. But I wouldn't actually want to do that option, but that's good to have that. Mm -hmm. It would be hard to balance college classes and a, you know, full-time career that I'm getting paid for, so. I would recommend you take one class. In the spring semester, you can take two classes. I could look at the season of a ballet dancer and then decide which class to take when, and hopefully it'll all work out. Well, eventually, dancing and, and college school. can be done. Yep. It can be done. 
Everyone thinks that I'm different than everybody else at Beach High. I come across differently compared to most high school students. I want to do ballet. That's what I want with my life. Ever since I was little, that's my dream. The students will be doing a performance of Mr. Balanchine's Western Symphony that the artistic director, Miss Lopez, will come to see. And Lourdes danced the principal role in the first movement herself. She knows exactly what it should look like. And she's coming to see how the students look. The performance is important for all of us because we want to show our best to those of us who want jobs. We want to show that we can not only fit in with the company, but we can perform principal roles by ourselves. First of all, thank you for working on this. I know this was something extra that we added to your repertoire, but it's a beautiful, beautiful ballet. Just to let you know, uh, Miss Lopez will come and see these performances at Open Bar. She has a better idea now of what contracts she has available for the company, so she actually may offer some positions after this Open Bar series. So there's a lot on the line, not to make you nervous or stress, but She's actually coming to really look at you all perform, okay? Thank you, dancers. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Next year, it's either I have to go to college or I'm doing ballet. Like, my parents don't want me to stay in a school another year because it's been hard in our family all these years. You know, I really want a job here, and I tell them, you know, I'm waiting to see what happens with my Miss City Ballet, and I'm just in this holding point right now. Valley is hard for everyone.